Just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us to Antigua and Barbuda. And you notice we said Antigua, not Antigua. There, this is the local pronunciation, Antigua. And some may argue and say Antigua as in a Spanish version of it, mm -hmm. but here the locals say Antigua. So either way you say it, it's fine. But just know that there are two ways. We docked at 8 a.m. but kind of slept in and we got off uh, a, a little bit past 10 o'clock. At 11 o'clock we decided to hop on the tour to see what the island has to offer. As soon as you get off the ship, there are uh, official shirt uh, representatives selling tours. They tell you all the different stops where you will go. It is $35 per person and at the end they will drop you off at the beach and pick you up. But there are some caveats to this which we'll get into to the end of this video and you're definitely going to want to stick around because it's not as what it seems but we'll give you the full details later on in this video. If you're new to our channel my name is Devon and I'm Irina and we are Just Be Out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation and not make the mistakes we make. <laughs> Just, Just Be, be out, out with us. us. So one thing I've noticed after going to all these different Caribbean islands, they all have one thing in common and this can work actually in a tourist's favor. When you come off the cruise ships, it always seems like there are vendors who are authorized to be within a certain distance of the cruise ship. You'll normally see them there in uniform, etc. Then there's like a second tier where they offer you the same type of tours but they're more in plain clothing. Then you have the third layer, which is kind of like the taxi cabs. They're on the outside of the port area where all the shops are. Well, here's what you need to do. JBO Pro Tip. When you first come off the ship, ask for excursions from the ones, the first vendors that you see. Find out what the cost is, what they're offering. From there, go outside the terminal where you have just the local taxi drivers. They're the ones, I call them the bottom feeders. They get the leftovers from everyone leaving the ship and didn't really buy into an excursion or going to a beach or something until maybe they got outside and they decide, you know what, maybe let's do it. And they try to get those people. Normally, they have a set price as well, but you can more bargain with them because they're not a part of the tour companies which are closest to the ship. So if they give you a price of say $45 for a tour and you go outside the, the cruise port to like local taxi drivers, you could say, hey, I spoke to them and they wanted to charge me 45. Can you do 40? Can you do 35? Can you even do 30? And they're more likely to bargain with you because they're on the outside and they know whatever they can get, they will take immediately. stop we were in the car driving for almost an hour yes our taxi tour guide is telling us all this different information about the island it is cool but we haven't really seen much and this is the first stop we're on the side of the road we were supposed to go to some type of gardens but they didn't tell us it is $15 per person entry fee and uh, nobody wanted to pay extra uh, so from this point across the road you you can see a bay with different yachts but it's not an official lookout there are uh, there are tree line covering it so you can't really see much but it is what it is we'll see what this tour brings us second stop is at a harbor where we can see up close some yachts and mega yachts and boats we pass by another type of harbor the that is UNESCO World Heritage but they did not tell us that it was a part of the paid uh, park fee uh, which is $15 per person and everybody on the van decided not to stop there 
So our cab driver, aka our tour guide, brought us to the harbor, uh, just a couple of minute drive from uh, the World's Heritage Harbor. I forgot the name of it, but this is more like a restroom stop. There is nothing to it much. And uh, we also kind of decide how much time we get to spend here. We all agreed for, to spend here 15 minutes. So we'll see what the next stop will be all about. Being that this is a restroom stop, you would think there are public restrooms here. But no, there are restrooms only for customers, only for a restaurant. Other people from our tour group paid a dollar to get in. The worker let me in for free. He said, you're beautiful, you can use it for free. But yeah, keep in mind that you do need to bring some cash with you. pineapple antigua black pineapple well this is not because the pineapple is black it's because that's just the kind there are so many different kinds of pineapples and um, it's regular color inside but this is the size the full size of the pineapple it's 18 to 24 months to grow this and after they uh, harvest this one the baby ones come out and they are edible too pretty cool so Let's try the world's sweetest pineapple. We are now on the south side of the island. You see the Caribbean Sea. It is so pristine. This is Curtain Bluff Beach and Curtain Bluff Resort. There are only two people on this beach. It looks absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Uh, you see some islands in the distance. The sea looks really calm. The water looks just mesmerizing. And you see all this lush greenery all around you. This is just a quick stop on this um, over look just uh, to the side of the road and we're heading to our next I don't know stop or drive by most of the stuffs uh, most of the stops here were not stops where they were just drive-bys but we'll see what else this uh, tour has to offer Actually, 365 beaches here in Antigua. Which means you can go to a beach every single day of the year here. The island is really small. It is only 10 miles by about 40 miles. So you can drive around the entire island if you don't stop in an hour. How crazy is that? And Barbuda is their sister island, but Antigua and Barbuda actually make up one country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that awesome. is really fascinating. It's kind of like Trinidad and Tobago. And Barbuda has a beautiful pink sand beach. Which means we have to come back and we have to check that out. <laughs> Overall, I think uh, Antigua is a beautiful place if you love beaches and we definitely have to come back here and enjoy some beach life here Absolutely. in Antigua. Yeah. We finally made it to the beach. We are at Dickinson Bay, not the beach that they promised us to stop at. It, the tour felt like we were literally sitting in the van for two hours and just driving by the stops. Well, in all fairness, we didn't really see nothing worthy to even stop at and look at. The stops that we made weren't even that great. And the beach that we were supposed to go to was on the south side of the island, which is considered to be uh, better beaches. But this beach is just 10 minutes driving away from the port. And uh, we were in a group with other people from another ship. They, were ne they needed to go on board earlier than us and we wanted to spend more time at the beach and the driver even didn't want to um, let, give us more time but we ended up convincing him to come back later to pick us up because when the people who were selling the tours told us that we can spend as much time on the beach and the driver will just pick us up. So 
at the end of the day, is this tour actually worth it? As Irina mentioned, we spent $35 per person and in all honesty, we really don't think so. I don't think that the attractions or the lookouts or the points of interest, if you will, is that great or that wow for, for it to be such a good tour. We've been on other tour on the ABC Island and on other, other Southern Caribbean islands that when we went on these tours, the lookouts were just amazing. Even when we were in St. Thomas, the lookouts were actually better than the lookouts here. And on top of that, it was really cloudy in St. Thomas when we were there pretty much for the whole time. But even though the lookouts were really great here, not so much. And that's the reason why I'm saying that this tour is really not worth it. Because you, if you don't do this tour, you're not going to miss out on much. I think the best thing for you to do is just take a taxi from the cruise port and just come to one of the beaches, choose one of the beaches and just spend your time on the beach. Let's talk about Antigua Black Pineapple. Yes. It is considered to be the sweetest pineapple, but we lived in Hawaii. If you haven't followed us, we created over 300 videos on everything Hawaii, and we have had even sweeter pineapple in Hawaii. So it tastes good, it's sweet, but I wouldn't say it's the sweetest, the sweetest in the world. The sweetest in the world, yeah, we wouldn't go that far. And of course, you know, pineapple, it all depends on the amount of rainfalls it gets and, and not the all of sunshine. And sunshine, right? So maybe the one we tried it wasn't the sweetest. But for, it, for, for them to say that it's the sweetest pineapple in the world, I don't know. We might have to challenge that one because, again, being in Hawaii, that was some of the sweetest pineapples we've ever tasted. And but it's worth for you to try it when you do come here. And here at Dickinson Bay, there, there are resorts uh, right on the bay. There are beach chairs for rentals. It's uh, $20 for beach chairs. And $10 for umbrella. So $30 for the combo beach and umbrella. And they, what's interesting, what they do here is they do horseback riding here. There are uh, sailors that are trying to get you on horseback riding tours. 30 minutes of hor horseback riding is 60 US dollars. And they give you an option to get in the water with them. Well, that would be an additional $10 charge. So our next stop will be the island of Barbados and we're looking forward to that as well. And we're going to get picked up in probably just about a half an hour to be taken back to the cruise. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope we gave you some type of insight that'll help you if you do come here to Antigua. You're watching our series of two back-to-back -back Caribbean cruises. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we have a lot of content, a lot of reviews on the ship, walking tours of two ships, pros and cons, first impressions, and of course, reviews and things to do for every Caribbean island stop that we make. And of course, we'll leave the link in the description to those videos. And we're going to leave the video at the end of this video, the playlist to those videos, We'll leave it so you can continue watching and see all the stops and the experiences while on these cruise ships. We also have a second YouTube channel, World Travel Walking Tours, where we publish walking tours of the scenery of different places that we travel to. We thank our members for supporting our channel. And if you would like to contribute, consider becoming a member or click the heart button below this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Cheers.